Good morning people and welcome to my vlog. Now yesterday there was no vlog. I'm really sorry about that but it, for me right I just didn't want to put a load of rubbish out just because I have to put a video out. I'm gonna try my best I'm doing my best and you know what I realize how much these vlogs matter to you and that means so much to me I'm realizing that even if you make a difference in just one person's life that's 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 it that's all you need to do then I'm done just joking right I have to be honest with myself I've just been to the gym this morning It's now 11 o'clock in Dutch time, which is 10 o'clock in UK time. So I'm, I'm just not able to time keep, let's face it. My day is gonna start normally at 11 o'clock, but it starts before that because I'm doing loads before that. I'm, you know, working hard in the night time. I need an office, I think. But if I get an office, it's just the cost right now. And I'm supposed to be keeping my costs down because I'm just paying off a few debts because it did cost a little bit to move from the UK over to Amsterdam. Well, Almere. Today's the day that I'm gonna start doing some work on my top fact videos. So I don't have an interview to do today, um, but I'm supposed to be making the time to do these top fact videos or at least do the research to start the work for it. I've got to do it. I've got to make sure today I get one top fact video filmed or at least get the ideas put together and the script written for it. The first of many conference calls. Oh hi Kim, it's Kevin, how you doing? And thank you for your time, alright? Take care, bye bye, bye bye. Phone call finished. Just on another phone call. Oh hi, uh, can I speak to, is Matt free at all? Okay, thanks ever so much, Matt. Appreciate that. Cheers, mate. Bye. Okay. One more phone call down. Well, that was great. I made sandwiches this morning and I didn't pack them. That's a failure. I feel like today, nothing is happening that quick and it's just so slow. Or well, maybe it's just all the Red Bull. I want to discuss something right now that's um, in the news, now a state in North Carolina in the US has uh, declared uh, a state of emergency and that's all to do with the unrest that's taking place right now. Now the unrest takes place due to uh, a nights of protest over the, uh, the death uh, of a demonstrator. For me this is a really deep subject so there is no way on God's earth that in the limited time I've got just to put this on camera right now that I'm going to come up with a, a way forward or a solution that fits everybody or even to try to describe or bring in all the threads that connect to all the subjects together. It's very simple for me. The solution that's going on in North Carolina right now, it needs to be a spiritual solution. We need to come from the stance that we are a soul in a body having a human experience. And this, this container here, this spacesuit that we wear is a way for the soul to breathe and have an experience. And color is another way for us to express love and for us to express um, who we truly are to one another. That there is no such thing as being separate and it's the separation. It's also the haves and haves nots as well uh, that causes this, this issue that's going on in America right now, this divide. But what good can come from saying that just one type of life matters, that black lives matter? Of course black lives matter, absolutely they do, but Asian lives matter, white lives matter, actually, all life matters. 
it's so true what someone said to me today in the sense that what you project out in your thoughts that creates your reality so when you project out that well i'm black uh so therefore you know i'm i'm this i'm that you know the, the police are going to be out for me you're creating that reality when you look at it from that perspective and i'm personifying the words that she said to me by by, by text but that's that's so true that's so true when she said that to me i was like whoa that's actually a deep way of looking at this subject. But actually thinking about it, someone else that did an interview with myself, well, I did an interview with them, On they were a law of attraction uh, specialist, and they actually thinking about it, they said the same thing. He said to me, and he, this was a black guy as well, he said to me he wouldn't even give his thoughts onto what was going on too deeply right now because then you're attracting and manifesting that reality. That's actually true, non-violence is the only way forward and look what India did with non-violence and the teachings of Gandhi um, back when the British Empire ruled India it was through that struggle in the end and the application of Gandhi's teachings that they won the day One thing I really want to do with this vlog is a bit of Q&A and a number of you have left a lot of questions so in just a bit I'm going to go through those questions when I've left this library and uh, just answer some random questions and my first question is from a guy called Magnus and he says why did you move to Amsterdam? Actually I'm not in Amsterdam, I'm in a place called Almere which is just outside of Amsterdam and I've come here to further another business that's completely separate from YouTube and um, it's something I've been working on for a long while well the idea is and basically to make that idea work which is selling products on a website uh, I've got to be here uh, in Almere to uh, further that basically okay Roger asked me Roger well just Roger uh, do you like the vlogging lifestyle um, I really do like doing these vlogs in, in the sense of uh, creating a daily short movie about my life and um, sort of repackaging that uh, into something that's not quite the way it was in one sense. It's obviously with a, bit, a few more bells and whistles and um, trying to make that story stand out, Try, trying to find the story in what you do has been a, a real eye-opener to me and you you kind of realize actually that every day has a story every day has something to learn from every day you're teaching yourself and others every day you're being of service every day there's something in this world that you have the right to be here to contribute towards and it's it's great to see it from that perspective um, yes it's a lot of hard work and there are at sometimes doing it where you think well this is just too time consuming but I know I'd like it to lead to more traveling vlogs at the weekends uh, and just you know go here and there at the weekends and come back in the week to work so that's a that's something I'm looking at next year definitely but yes I, I do like this vlogging okay the next question is from Jeff Lane I think it is Jeff Lane and it's based well he's basically asking what's you why do you think we come here to have this earthly experience uh, great question um, I'm still <laughs> I, th I think I think I'll be asking myself that question until the end of time I, I would say that most definitely I'm learning that when you flow when you are res least resistance to uh, things going on around you and when you can listen to your gut feeling and be on your truth path by doing that and go into joy and happiness on whatever makes you happy to do in your life that's when living on this planet just becomes absolutely amazing and then you bump into people and they bump into you and all sorts of wonderful things happen my truth is that we are here to have human experience and that we are taking those experiences back home 
and it's not all to me it's not all about being some goody goody two shoes you know only doing or thinking purest thoughts and all this I think it's a process of healing and I also think it's not to deny anything I don't look back with too much shame now because I came here to have an earthly experience I think as long as you're being of service and you're not hurting anybody else or yourself that's the right path and hopefully that would mean being of service one more question this is gonna get too long I might have to chop this question out well wow, that's a good question um, it's a good question. Uh, BTH? Why can't people just use normal names? Yeah, the question is, what's your opinion on failure? Um, having had quite a bit of failure in one sense, in one sense, um, now this could be relationship failure, it could be, you know, business failure, it could be, well, you know, any type of failure really. And I think failure is success in disguise. So failure is success in disguise. Because if you've never failed at anything, then how the hell do you attempt to succeed at anything? You know, failure teaches us. Um, uh, failure grows us. Um, failure makes us stronger. So, um, you know, we can't all succeed at the same time, at the same thing. You know, it's there's opposites in this reality for us to learn from them. How can you learn anything if there was no opposites? If, if everything was just hot, how would you know cold? If everything was just up, how would you know down? There's opposites for us to have a re experience in this reality, that's what I believe. And without failure, we'll never feel that experience, because that's partly what I think we're here to do as well, is to feel. and. Um, yeah, it sucks, but it's never really a failure because it takes you onto a path that you were meant to be on and it leads you to new doors, it leads you to all sorts of success in the end. So it's just part of the process of being here basically. Um, and I've run out of time now, so that's all I'm going to say on that. Okay guys, I'm going to leave it here. This is the end of the vlog right now. I've got to get back home soon and do a few other jobs as well. So I just want to say thank you so, so much for watching from the bottom of my heart. I've really enjoyed today. I'm looking forward to tomorrow as well. And remember, you are amazing. Be good to yourself, be good to each other, and I'll catch you soon. Peace. Mm -hmm.